In today's video, we're taking a look at my Ego Power products that are almost nine years old to see just how about how long they still run and to see if this really is a great buy. These batteries now are coming up on almost nine years old. I ended up writing down the dates of when I put them in the service, but the actual manufacture date was a little bit earlier. If you look at this one here, it was built towards the end of 2013, and the other battery that I own was built around the middle of 2014. And these are the older 2.0 amp hour batteries, which now, when you buy a newer blower from the Ego products, you'll actually get the new style blower along with a 2.5 amp hour battery, giving you extended run times. As we compare the run times from the old 2.0 amp hour battery with the new 2.5, if you look on the left, you have the low speed, high speed, and boost speed times, which we're going to do two tests. We're going to test for high speed and boost to see how much degradation we've lost on these batteries to see if they even meet half of the runtime. We're going to go ahead and fully charge both batteries, and then we'll come back in just a minute. And now that it's been a minute, both batteries are ready to go. So I've got the Ego blower out here strapped down to the table. And as you can see, I have it already positioned into the high speed for the first test. And then what we're going to do is I have the throttle trigger already taped down with a piece of Velcro. That way, when we install the battery, it'll automatically fire up and we'll hit the timer. So this is the newer battery that I have. And we'll start off with a high speed test. And away we go. And now with the timer running, we can go ahead and just let this run for a little while and we'll come back and check on it periodically. But since I have some time, I figured I might as well at least fix my hair. And already looking created over nine minutes. Hitting that 12 minute mark. Now you can see the red light is on and we're getting towards the end of our test here for the high speed. And there it goes, it finally dies. And so that's one test complete. So now we're gonna go with the older battery since the new one is done and we'll do the boost test. All right, now you can see that I have the boost button locked down as well. And second test, away we go. Timer has started and now the timer is running. So we'll go ahead and let this run for a bit and then we'll come back and check on it periodically just to see how well it's doing. Now I know you guys have done this before, so subscribe if you have. And now as we take a look at the timer, you can see that we're over six minutes. The original runtime was about seven and a half, which we're actually getting pretty close to. So it'll be impressive to see how long it goes. And here we are at seven minutes as it continues to run. A few more seconds. And well, looks like it's finally gonna die out on us. So that actually exceeded my expectations, especially since this is the older battery that I own. If I take it off here and show you, this is the one I put in the service in 2014. So this is a 2013 manufactured battery. So overall, if we take a look at the numbers, you can see that the run times on the high speed test definitely was a little bit less than the original run time from the 2.0 amp hour battery. But look at what the boost mode did. It actually did really good. So if you guys are ever considering Ego products, I've been totally happy with both of these. I actually need to get some of the newer stuff because I have this core power console, which they don't even make this anymore. So when it finally dies, I'll move to a weed whacker from Ego and even my lawnmower. I've had this for a long time and it just keeps on running, but I can't wait to get one of the new Ego mowers to kind of complete the set. But I hope you guys liked the short video. Be sure to smash the like button for me and subscribe. And until next time.